What were some of the factors that prompted you to, in recent years, um, reconsider atheism and to come to the conclusion that uh, that there is a intelligence? Um, it's been in entirely these, uh, uh, I suppose, biological discoveries and uh, dis discoveries about the the chemistry. It's, so the, it's the, these things, the complexity and uh, yeah, the integrated complexity argument. Now, when you talk about the integrated complexity, yeah. is it the the um, unlikelihood of that developing naturalistically? The first complex integrated biological system is that where the problem you saw? Uh, well, yes, because after all, uh, there is a, a problem about. Uh, even well, the f of physical nature. There's, a, you know, it's if the integrated complexity of the physical world is a good reason, as Einstein clearly thought it was, of believing that there was an intelligence behind it, then uh, this arg argument applies a fortiori with the inordinately greater integrated complexity of the living world. Mm -hmm. It seems to me is, this is just obvious that it, th that argument is much stronger now. And this was one of the factors that led you to conclude there must be an intelligence. Yeah, yeah. It, it was uh, uh, accepting uh, Einstein, who after all was the person who's qualified to judge, and seeing that a fortiori this applied uh, where, of course, Einstein didn't uh, have any authority at all and wasn't incli inclined reasonably enough to talk about yeah. it.